What is up, beautiful souls? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Oh man, it's been a couple days since I've posted a video. Remember, I post Thursdays and Sundays. And today I just wanted to hop on here and just talk to you guys about like healthy relationships and learning how to attract a healthy partner or a loving partner or a present partner in your next relationships after having just bad picks of hand because you weren't you didn't set boundaries you didn't feel worthy of love you were also emotionally unavailable and you had your own toxic traits how did you go from unhealthy to healthy relationships that is something that we're getting into in the topic today because i was watching a video on tiktok how how like relationships you know toxicity is so you know how do you say advertised constantly social like like celebrities and their toxic relationships it's so glamorized to be in a toxic relationship people don't really know healthy relationships and what healthy is and then people are saying some traits are unhealthy but really it's just a healthy way of love you know what i'm saying you can spend your life with one person and you can either choose to revolve your life around that person or you two have separate things that you do that's your own preference in your relationship every relationship is different I understand every relationship is going to have its own faults as well but you know coming from a person who's always attracted emotionally unavailable people um, I was also not speaking up for myself. So that also made me emotionally unavailable. I was a people pleaser. And I would get to a point where I would get tired of constantly sacrificing my needs and wants in a relationship that I would finally like just burst out out of anger. Like I'm so tired of this. And instead of having a healthy communication, a healthy way of expressing my emotions, I will implode in a different way because every time I would try to express it in a soft way, nothing was being met. There was no actions being, you know, attuned to. So I'm just glad that I was able to experience all those unhealthy relationships so I can learn from them and understand what healthy really is and what I want in my next relationship and what kind of healthy boundaries do I want to set to make sure that we don't repeat the same cycle again. You get what I'm saying? Because it's kind of hard. People think that it's so easy when you come from a toxic household and toxic environment and toxic um, characteristics. And then you finally get in a healthy relationship and you're like, well, everything's so great. No. People don't tell you that when you get in a healthy relationship, it gets boring. Your anxiety is triggered. Your overthinking is triggered because why is nothing happening you get what i'm saying when you're so used to chaos everywhere that's going on when healthy happens you start to question it and that is when your 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 healthy coping skills and the mean of it to calm your nerves down is when they need to kick in that's when it needs to kick in when your anxiety starts oh my god like something has to be wrong but like why is it so calm there's nothing going on we're not constantly yelling at each other we're not like hitting each other there is like no like breaking things there's nobody's throwing things what's going on and the truth is nothing is going on you are just so used to chaos and unhealthy relationships that don't have boundaries that for the first time you're content in your relationship and you're working on it every week. You guys talk about it. You guys have weekly, even daily talks at nighttime. You get what I'm saying? You set boundaries in your relationship. And you set boundaries for yourself. That for the first time, it's like, okay, but isn't it supposed to go left? Nobody talks about that. Nobody talks about it. Now, I can't wait till I experience that. But I do know that it will be an amazing feeling and I've done so much work on myself and still continue to do work because I am never fully healed. So I'm always open to evolving, always open to healing other parts of myself, always wanting to grow and prosper in life. That when I get into that environment, I know that my person, a healthy person, 
will be able to comfort me in my time of need and when my anxiety is up because you finally chose a healthy partner. Trust your instincts. Trust your gut for the first time that it is telling you the truth. You are okay, but your nervous system is so used to chaos that you feel like something's going wrong. Talk to your partner in that time of need. Hey, babe, I am having, you know, my, my nervous system is acting up and I just feel like something's wrong in the You, The right partner will help calm you down. Even, okay, you can calm yourself down, but you can also allow your partner to see your vulnerability and let them know like, hey, sometimes I feel like something's going wrong, but I know it's not. And I just, I just need some, how do you say, some clarity you know i just want to have oh man there's a word at the tip of my tongue that i would usually say budge what is that word again i'm stuck on that word adhd blockage I want you to give me you this is what's gonna piss me off oh okay i finally got the word so when, you're, when you feel like you're anxious, ask your partner for reassurance, that you need reassurance. That's healthy. When, when you're being vulnerable enough with your partner that you are asking, hey, I know that there's nothing wrong, but I just feel like I need reassurance right now that I'm having anxiety. Because listen, you are always going to have those triggers with or without a partner, with or without healthy individuals. Understand those triggers stem from deep-rooted trauma of not feeling worthy enough. So when a healthy partner comes by, you can talk to them and express to them how you are feeling like something is wrong and the right partner will attend to you and reassure you and let you know that everything's okay. I can't wait to have that type of partner, y'all. That's why I'm taking this year to focus on myself, to make sure that I do the work, to make sure when I'm ready to attract the right partner, that I will be ready for everything. So that's literally all I wanted to talk about, how, you know, how difficult it is to go from healthy to, from unhealthy to healthy relationships. Nobody talks about how hard it is and um, how much work it takes. You got to be willing to, to work and be open-minded and allow your ego to go. When you're wanting a healthy relationship, understand your ego is going to be triggered tremendously. Let that ego go. It is okay to be wrong. It is okay for you to sometimes you're going to hurt your partner. And you're not always going to be perfect and that's okay. But allow yourself to be vulnerable enough to apologize. Yes, that was not your intention, but you still hurt them. You get what I'm saying? You, gotta, you guys got to work together to move forward and not backwards and stop bringing up old arguments that you guys have already discussed and communicated about. You can't move forward when you keep bringing up the past. I love y'all. That's my video for today. I hope you guys have a beautiful Sunday and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.